Let's head to Dayton's Wright State's Nutter Center. D1 State Volleyball Semifinals. Perrysburg Magnificat. First set, Blue Streaks looking for set point. Jackets with the overpass. Blue Streaks take advantage at the net, find the open floor. They take that first set 25-16. In the second, Jackets battling back. Ball bumped over to Sarah Paul. Mm. Cross-court kill brings the Yellow Jackets within one. But the Blue Streaks would go on a streak. Perrysburg trying to respond. Paul met at the night. Big time blockaroni and cheese for the points Ooh. as they take that second set 25-16. In the third, again, the Jackets come out, show a little fight. Balls left for Danielle Clevenger. Magnificat unable to get the return. Perrysburg starting to build a little bit of momentum. But once again, the Blue Streaks stay one step ahead. Off the serve, pass to Katie Paul, blocked at the net. And that's how this one ends. Perrysburg drops in three sets. An incredible run for an incredible team. Uh, no, we accomplished a lot. I mean, at the beginning of the season, we weren't anything crazy, um, just a normal average team. And then we, we worked really hard and um, we accomplished a lot and made it to the final four. So it's been amazing. Um, I think our seniors taught us a lot last year about how to lead and how to keep pushing your teammates. And I think we took on that role very well. And that means a lot to us to be able to take us this far into our season and end it off. With more on this volleyball match, we turn to the guys on the call. Brad Balls, Nikki, Norm McGee. Thanks. Back out here one final time inside the Nutter Center on the campus of Wright State University. And today's matchup featured a Rocky River Magnifica team that had been here before. The defending state champs, just two losses on the season, number two ranked in the state. Come in here, Perrysburg had not been here in 16 years. Your thoughts first on just having that edge for Magnifica having been here. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, like Laura said earlier in an interview, that it's not the place that they played in because once they're on the floor, it's kind of a closed place. So no surprises as far as where they're playing. But, um, yeah, Magnificat's got the background. They've got the pedigree. Well, let's talk more just about the match now and Magnificat coming in here. They really were able to stay in system all throughout the night. Their blocking was there, and their service game, 11 aces in this match. Yeah, that was crazy. I didn't know they had 11 until I read the stat sheet at the end. But, yeah, it was crazy crazy the way their ball were dropping. And what impressed you most about Magnifica? Um, the way they spread it out, you know, because um, Sprecher used to get every, like every three shots she'd get and then they'd go to somebody else. Today they spread it out wonderfully. Everybody got their slice of the pie. In Perrysburg, you have to put everything into perspective when it comes to what the Jackets accomplished this season and building off of last season. You remember, Perrysburg had graduated six seniors. This year coming in here, five seniors helping lead the way. At the end of these two seasons, 45 wins. The Jackets getting here for the first time since 2006. This senior class left a mark. I'll tell you, Perrysburg, the little engine that could. I mean, nobody t nobody expected them to, you know, co-chair the get the league and then uh, do all the things they've done to get to here. I mean, that's a magnificent. Nobody expected it. They did great things. For the Jackets, the season comes to an end at 21-7. and A regional title, a share of that Northern Lakes League title, a heck of a run by the Jackets.